Hello and welcome to the Vintage and Classic Network channel. You join me on this sunny afternoon. I'm currently working on a car that has a rear uh, quarter damage. I'm just repairing the arch section. I'm just struggling to get the rear quarter smooth, so uh, I need something more than the slapper that I'm using to achieve this. And um, I've made this handy little tool hack that I thought was worth uh, filming and sharing with everyone. I'll show you uh, a little clip of me using it and everything at the end so you get an idea of how it all works and hopefully you enjoy it. What I'm going to use is two bits of bar put to the same length, two old bearings which are the same size, a sacrificial pair of mole grips and a lever bar there which is going to help me apply a bit of pressure when I come to weed in. Okay the first thing I'm going to do is literally just put a couple of tacks on the bar and the bearing there so I'm not applying too much heat and the bearing still runs freely. So there you can see, it still runs smoothly and freely. It's ideal. Just a couple of little tacks on the back. I think that's all we need. Okay, so this is how I'm lining up the wheels. I've just got them on a plate like that. Uh, I've got my mole grips um, angled like this purely for accessibility on the panel. And uh, what I'm gonna do is chop this section out here so I've got enough material so it makes this nice strong joint. Again, I'm gonna chop it along here, chopping this bit off to make a strong joint on that one as there will be a little bit of pressure going through, so I need uh, as much uh, contact patch as possible to make a nice strong joint. Okay, there we have it. That's what it should look like once it's all done. So I just get that into position and get some welds on it. So I'm literally just going to line that up, eyeball that into the middle, and stick a tack on it. I'll make sure that's lined up, and then I'll stick a weld around it, and that should be good. Okay, so now I've got that one tacked on. You can then just line it up like so. Make sure the gap's tight. They're flat. And it's good to tack the other one on. Okay, so that is all welded up now, as you can see, fully welded around there. What I'm now going to do is I've just prepped the bar there, that is going to go on there, just going to weld that on and that's going to help with a bit of leverage and help me control the wheel when I'm using it. Okay, so the moment of truth. I haven't uh, tried it on here yet, so um, we'll soon find out if it works. Um, this panel has had a fair bit of damage in there. I'm just putting in a new arch section, and uh, I've been using a slapper to try and lift this out, and it's taken a while, so hence why I'm going to give this a go. So, in theory, it should work. Just gonna adjust the pressure. To suit. So hence why I've got the handle and I've dog legged it so I can get around the inner arch. So you can hear it going over all them bumps. It 
always nice. And it's actually doing a really nice job of that. I wasn't expecting it to be as nice. But yeah, if that's a couple of passes, then I think it ain't gonna take many minutes to get the rest of it out. It's taken about an hour to make that. And yeah, you can make them a lot bigger, deeper. So I think for this little job, it was definitely worth spending an hour just to get a nicer finish on the panel so we put less filler in it. So all in all, the success for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.